Hi, I'm Bruce Ross, Executive Director of the Wisconsin Waterfowl Association, and we're here at the historic Nippy Knock Club in Montello, Wisconsin, to talk a little bit about an important message for waterfowlers as they enter the marsh this fall. I'm here with Chris Hammerloff from uh, Golden Sands. Chris, uh, what can you tell us about what waterfowlers should be doing and thinking about when it comes to the spread of invasive species? Sure, thanks Bruce. Um, really, it's similar to if you're fishing or boating, making sure that you inspect, remove, and drain all the water from your watercraft, take all the weeds, you know, aquatic plants off your equipment and boat. But there are a few other things that waterfall hunters need to take care of, and I'm sure you're well aware of this. You know, we go out duck hunting and it's a dirty sport. Mm -hmm. um, our waders, our boots get all muddy, our dogs get muddy. So taking the time that when we're picking up our decoys, even though it might be a cold day and we're running late, taking the time to make sure all the water's drained out of the decoy. Uh, making sure there's no plant material or weeds draped on the anchor, no mud on there. Mm. There can be seeds and small snails in the mud. Uh, your decoy bags, you know, if you're picking decoys up and you're in the marsh and you're putting them in your decoy bag right away, there can be a lot of stuff on that decoy bag. Mm. We understand that waterfall hunters are going to do the best that they can. You can't get everything off, but all that big noticeable vegetation mud needs to come off of there. Other things to think about are our, the push poles that we're using in shallow, muddy waters, making sure we have all the weeds taken off of there, all the mud cleaned off, drained off, remembering the pull, that plug out of our boat, you know, if you're using a boat, or tip your kayak or your canoe over just to get that water out. And finally, things like our dogs, right? You know, they're doing all the dirty work out there for us. Well, I remember when uh, my tar, uh, my dog, Tar, now 12 years old. May, she may be past her, her last waterfowling season, but uh, when she was in her prime, she was into, over, and through everything, and she brought half the marsh back with her, including the duck that she was going after. So I, I can hear what you're saying. Yeah. You know, I, a couple of years ago, I got a vest for my dog. Helps keep them afloat, keeps them warm, protects mm -hmm. them. Yep. But what I really notice is when they're swimming through the marsh, he's getting a lot of material right down the chest cavity. So taking time to clean those off, too, is, is just as important. Well, Wisconsin waterfowl is all about uh, habitat restoration and making sure that we're taking care of the, the marsh. And, and a lot of our work is restoration work. So if we can keep invasive species from, from requiring a restoration sometime in the future, that's, that's work well done. Yeah, and you hit on it. Preventing the spread of invasive species keeps that quality habitat yeah. intact. Yeah, absolutely. So an ounce of prevention in this case. Exactly. As you're coming out of the marsh after a waterfowl hunt, you might see some DNR staff and maybe some, uh, some partners there to help you uh, clean off your watercraft to inspect, remove, and drain your watercraft before you tow it away. And they might have some uh, tools there for you to uh, help you remember and to help you do the job.